Hi and welcome to our tutorial. In this video we're going to show you how to determine the amorphous content of a sample using the external standard method with Soricon software. This is a new feature available in version 4.5 of the software. As the name implies, the external standard method relies on running an external standard and does not involve spiking your sample as with the internal standard method. The external standard should be a standard with a known amorphous content. We recommend using the NIST corundum standard. The standard should be run at the same time as the sample and refined as normal, as the results will be used when determining the amorphous content. One point to note on using the external standard method is that chemistry is required, as we need to know the mass absorption coefficient of the sample. Once the standard has been run and refined, we can then run and refine our main sample. Now for this tutorial, I'm not going to go through, th through the refinement process, and we'll use scans that have already been done. Now that we have a refined sample, we will now use the amorphous calculator to determine the amorphous content. The first step is to go to Results, External Amorphous to load the calculator. Once the calculator is loaded, you can see the phases present in the scan. By clicking the Show More button, you can also see other parameters that are used in the calculation. The mu star is the mass absorption coefficient, and this will be entered later. The first step is to select the external standard task file. In this case, AL203 standard. Once the standard task file has been loaded, the scale, cell mass, and cell volume are extracted from the task file. The next step is to either enter the mass absorption coefficient or the chemistry for both the standard file and the current task. This can be done either using the chemistry entry box by entering the oxide and weight percentage, or if you already know the mass absorption coefficient, it can be entered directly into the tables. In this case, we know for this sample it is 84.91. You'll see that the mass absorption coefficient is automatically copied to the other faces as it is for the entire sample. The next step is to enter the amorphous content for the standard. In this case, we know that the standard has an amorphous content of 1%, so the WFCN is entered as 99%. We can now hit Calculate, and the amorphous content for this sample is now displayed in the bottom left-hand corner as 12.34%. So that's how to use the external amorphous standard method with Soricon software. Thanks for watching.